Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Innalhamdulillah nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nastaghfiruh wa na'udzu billahi min shururi anfusina wa min sayyiati a'malina man yahdihillahu fala mudilla lahu wa man yudlil fala hadiyalah wa asyhadu an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la syarika lah wa asyhadu anna muhammadan 'abduhu wa rasuluhu la nabiyya ba'da Ya ayyuhalladzina amanu taqullaha haqqa tuqatihi wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun Ya ayyuhan nasu taqu rabbakum alladhi khalaqakum min nafsi wahidah wa khalaqa minha zawjaha wa batha minhuma rijalan kathira wa nisa'a wa taqullaha alladhi tasa'alu nabihi wal arham inna allaha kana alaikum raqiba Ya ayyuhalladzina amanu taqullaha wa qulu qawlan sadida yuslih lakum a'malakum wa yaghfir lakum zunubakum وَمَنْ يُتِعِ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ فَقَدْ فَازَ فَوْزًا عَظِيمًا أَمَّا بَعْدُ فَإِنَّ أَصْدَقَ الْحَدِيثِ كِتَابُ اللَّهِ وَخَيْرُ الْهُدَى هُدَى مُحَمَّدْ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ وَالشَّرَّ الْأُمُورِ مُحْدَثَاتُهَا فَإِنَّ كُلَّ مُحْدَثَةٍ بِدْعَةٍ وَكُلَّ بِدْعَةٍ ضَلَالَةٍ وَكُلَّ ضَلَالَةٍ فِي النَّارِ My dear brother and sister in Islam alhamdulillah al praise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the lords of the world I testify there is none of worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I testify that Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is his slave and his messenger inshallah uh, tonight will be our first meeting in this majlis mubarak inshallah and uh, I will uh, say thank you jazakumullah khairan kathiran for everyone who support for this program and inshallah Allah will grant those people a good reward for what they do for this program what we're gonna talk from now and to the future we will talk about something very important we will talk about something that we can't leave it in our life we will talk about ilmul fiqh we will talk about ilmul fiqh maybe some people still confuse the meaning of fiqh what fiqh means what fiqh means fiqh in lughah fiqh means al faham fiqh means understanding when someone learn about the fiqh that means he tried to understand about Islam and some scholars explain the meaning of fiqh with ma'rifatul ahkam syar'iyah bi adillatiha tafsiliyah knowing the rules of sharia with the details of the dalil that inshallah will be the topic and the subject we will talk from now until the, the future like the others knowledge like the others ilm if someone try to learn if someone want to learn about aqidah about tajweed about hadith for example about tafsir they can't just start and get into learn about the ilm straight away yeah? they have to know exactly what they will learn so that's why our topic tonight before we start to learn about fiqh yeah, fair, from very very beginning we will explain and tell everybody the fadl the benefit for who learn about fiqh fiqh or faham when someone learn about fiqh that means he try to understand islam the rules of sharia Someone learn fiqh, that means Allah will, Allah wants the good things for him. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said in the hadith, Man yuridillahu bihi khayran yufaqihu fid din. Whoever Allah wants to do good things to him, Allah will make him understand in his religion. Allah will make him understand in Islam. When someone learn fiqh, that's a good start. That's a good sign. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala want khair for us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
want the good things for us. That's the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. If someone learn about fiqh, Allah will raise his darajat. Allah will raise his level in the dunya and the akhirat. Allah subhanahu wa taala said in Quran, "Yarfa'illahu ladina amanu minkum wal ladina utul ilma darajat." Allah will raise whoever believe in Allah subhanahu wa taala and whoever yeah, has given ilm more level than than the others. That's the benefit, yeah. That someone will get if they learn about fiqh. The other benefit, if someone learn about fiqh, he will know which one is halal and which one is haram. That's why I told before, the meaning of fiqh is ma'rifatul ahkamil ash-shari'iyah bi adillatiha at-tafsiliyah. Someone knows the rules of sharia with the dalil. For example, when he learn about salah, he needs to know. Yeah, salah, it's something wajib from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the dalil, for example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, said in Quran, وَأَقِيمُ الصَّلَحْ This is the dalil from Quran. The dalil from sunnah, from hadith, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, yeah, بُنِيَ الْإِسْلَامُ عَلَى خَمْسِ شَهَدَةُ أَلَّا إِلَهِ لَاللَّهِ وَأَنَّ مُحَمَدْ رَسُولَ اللَّهُ وَإِقَامِ الصَّلَحْ yeah. Islam built from five pillars. Shahadah la ilaha illallah wa anna Muhammad Rasulullah and also performing so, salat. When someone want to learn about siyam, fasting in Ramadan, yeah, we will teach and we will explain the dalil from Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Ya ayuhaladzina amanu kutiba alaykum siyam kama kutiba ala ladzina min qablikum la'allakum tattakun. And the dalil from hadith, when Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, yeah, the continuous from the first hadith, Buniyal Islam wa ala khams, وَصَوْمِ رَمَضَانِ أَوْ وَصِيَامُ وَصِيَامُ رَمَضَانِ and and etc. So when someone learn about fiqh, yeah, Allah subhanahu wa taala will give him, yeah, nur. Allah will give him something that he can use to yeah know which one is halal and which one is ha haram. And this topic, yeah, it's very important, especially. Yeah, when we when someone learn about fiqh, the very first thing that he learn from any books, yeah, any fiqh books, he will learn about taha, tahara. Inshallah, we will start our yeah muhadar, our lecture with kitab tahara, the book of taha, tahara. Tahara means when someone clean their body from the najis to make themselves tahur clean. Yeah, and then they can perform salah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For example, when someone learn about tahara, why tahara is very important? Why tahara is very important? If we see yeah, from any books, the ulama, the scholars always start their book with the kitab tahara. Why? Why ulama always start kitab tahara to be very first subject in their books? To clean ourselves, good answer. Why? Why some ulama, yeah, or most of them, start their books with Kitab Tahara? Because the importance of Taha, Tahara. Do we know that Salat, the best deeds, the best amal that someone do to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, that Salah won't be acceptable without Tahara. If someone yeah, fail to do tahara, that means probably his salah yeah, won't be accepted from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And even Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said in hadith, La yakbalullahu salatan bi ghayri tahur wa la sadaqatan min ghulul. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not accept salah without wudu. That's the importance of taha, tahara. So basically, yeah, this fiqh, yeah, something that everybody needs and something everybody have to learn. Because ulama make an qaidah, yeah, the rules, ma la yatimul wajibu illa bihi fa huwa wajib. Anything that wajib and if we don't do something to make that wajib complete, 
ya. Yeah? So we have to do it. Salah. Salah is wajib from every mu Muslim. And salah won't be accepted yeah, with the tahara. That means we have to learn about taha, tahara. So this is only the muqaddimah. Tonight I, I just I just talk about yeah, muqaddimah because jump straight away into the books yeah, without knowing what we're going to learn. Maybe make some brothers yeah, confused. Confused. Brethren and sisters in Islam, the book that we will talk, yeah, inshallah, is the book that very popular. The book called Matan al Ghoya wa Taqrib. It's a very popular book among uh, Shafi'iyah. Yeah? Yeah? And I know, I understand some brother maybe have a background from Hanafi and background from Maliki or maybe background from Hanbali. But in this majlis, I will not trying to judge. Yeah. This one is correct and that one is correct. Yeah. Because if anyone yeah, has a dalil, feel free to do that in Ilmul Fiqh. Yeah. So any madhab, if they have a dalil and the dalil is sahih, yeah, feel free to, to do that. Because Ilmul Fiqh has a huge door. Al Bab Wasi. Yeah. Yeah. In Ilmul Fiqh. Yeah, how to practice, how to perform a salah, how to do, yeah, for example, a salah, yeah, the, the door is very huge, the door is very big. Yeah. What, is, what does that mean? If someone has a dalil, feel free to do, to do that. Yeah. And this book is very popular. Yeah. I've learned this book before when I was studying in uh, year 12. Yeah. When I was studying in Ma'had in Indonesia, I was studying in Lombok, in Ma'had Abu Hurairah. And my teacher, Rahimahullah, yeah, teach me this book, even, yeah, didn't teach me completely, but Alhamdulillah, yeah, by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and then by my teacher, I know this book, and this book is very uh, beneficial, yeah, uh, especially with, uh, for beginner who wants to learn about about fiqh. And my dear brother in, uh, uh, my dear brother and sister in Islam, uh, fiqh, yeah, it's very huge. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to teach us about Islam. And the sharia, the things that Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam teach us it's a lot there is an aqidah aqidah means something what we believe we believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we believing in angels we believing in yeah day after we believe in a books we believe in yeah qada wal qadar taqdir yeah, even it's good or if it's bad taqdir that call madatul aqidah the topic is aqidah there is madatul mu'amalah or madatul akhlaq. We talk about akhlaq. Yeah. How we yeah, talk to our parents. How we act to our friends. How we act to our wife. How we act to our uh, husband, for example. Yeah. This is called akhlaq. And what we learn here, fiqh, yeah, is connected with every practical yeah, ibadah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like salat and then fasting in Ramadan and then zakat and then uh, trade sometimes yeah? when someone try to do business yeah, if he want to start business and he want to make his business clean from riba for example and from something haram so he has no option except learning fiqh yeah? that's all inside the ilmul fiqh Ilmul Fiqh. Taib. So, uh, that's as a muqaddimah. Yeah? When someone uh, wants to learn al-fiqh. So, if any brother uh, has a question about fiqh, yeah, in general, yeah, for example, feel free to, to ask me. Yeah? Any questions about Ilmul Fiqh? Can we say 
Actually, that fiqh al-ibadah, yeah. Tohara and Salah, actually yeah. links to the, one of the makasid of the Sharia, which is the protection of faith. Yeah. And how do we create that link between these two? As a, an explanation that because the makasid covers five to six aspects of yeah right but when fit is being taught in terms of the technicalities the spirit of fit itself is not explained in terms of how the makasid is linked to that and also for example on certain experiences of or writings of uh, Imam Abu Hanifa yeah. when he take wudu and he saw Sins fall from his hands. Yeah. Yeah. So, basically, brother, uh, that's the reward that Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam explained to us when someone uh, performed wudu, for example, and the sins. Of course, that's something that we can't see. Yeah. That's something that we believe. Yeah. But the thing is, uh, with uh, al fiqh, with fiqh, with madad al fiqh, is how we perform, how we uh, fulfill the order from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yeah? that's, that's, that's the thing so How we fulfill the order from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala The rewards From Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah hide it from us yeah? Allah hide the reward For example like The sin is like Fell down from our hands Allah hide it We can't see it When we believe it That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Will give that to to us. So is that what you ask, brother? Yes, I mean, in terms of the um, realization, it yeah. should be the technical aspect is to fulfill the commandment. Yeah, that's correct, but yeah. When doing it, we should actually be able to um, not only feel it, but also at times be able to experience it. Experience. Yeah. It is, I mean, yeah, this is a bit. I'm afraid it's a bit far off what yeah. we are going for, right? But yeah. it's just the, ex the religious experiences is how to make it even more holistic and we feel the reality of what we are doing. Like, if we have done something wrong on that day, when I'm cleaning my hand for wudu, yeah. I'm really really cleaning my sin. Oh yeah, that level will, someone will get it when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, give an hidayah to him. Yeah. Some 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 people when they perform wudu for example, and then and then he has done something wrong before, and then he can feel that things when he perform wudu, that's something that might be Allah subhanahu wa taala give to him give an hidayah that's sign for him, so he will leave that that, that mistake and won't uh, repeat that again in future. Yeah, that that that's 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 something that might be happen. Yeah, for example, or someone when he performs salah, yeah, and then he feels uh, like Allah subhanahu wa taala listen to his uh, dua, and Allah will accept his dua. Yeah, that's bushra. That's uh, the good news that Allah subhanahu wa taala yeah give to someone because of his his iman, yeah, and because of Allah, Allah subhanahu wa taala. Uh, give a uh, uh, give an hidayah to to that person. Yeah, that's 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 probably happened, brother. Yeah. You got, uh, yeah. I yeah. understand. I mean, why can this connectivity be throughout the Muslim world a very living experience? Yeah. Why everyone can do uh, can get the same things? That's what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. Why not everyone? Wait. wait. That's why. That's the the. Ni'mah and the fadl that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give to whoever he wants. Allah won't give to everyone. Allah will give to everyone he wants. Yeah, that's the fadl. So if you ask why everyone can't get it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give to everyone he, he wants. If someone wants to feel that, that means he has to increase his ibadah. He, he has to increase his taqwa. He has to increase his, his iman, his belief, his faith to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he sees these things in the uh, in, in, in Muslim, Allah will give that feel to, to the Muslim. Yeah. Like Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sometimes says uh, in the hadith, Ru'yatul mu'min haq. 
the dream of a mu'min, it's truth, it's true. Is everyone when he dreaming and, and, and his dream will be the truth? Nah, not everybody. But when someone reach a level of iman, a level of taqwa, level of faith to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will give yeah, ability. Yeah? And then sometimes his dream, like when he dream about something, and then that's the sign from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect him from something bad, to protect him from some uh, from mistake, from, for example. That happen to anyone that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants, not, not to every, everybody. That's something given, not something that we reach. When someone thinks that level, that something that Allah, or that we can reach, like if, if, if everyone going to do that, everyone can reach it easily. That, but some, that's something Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give. So we can't choose it. Allah choose to give to whoever he, he wants. Yeah. So when someone yeah, perform ibadah, increase his taqwa, increase his ibadah, yeah, do a salat, do, do zakat, do a fasting and etc. He will reach a level which is means level of taqwa that Allah knows this person is, is uh, muttaqin, minal muttaqin, someone perform taqwa to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will guide him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will, will protect him. Yeah? Like in hadith Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, this is, and this is hadith Qudsi, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَمَا تَقَرَّبَ إِلَيَّ عَبْدِ بِشَيْءٍ حَبُّ إِلَيَّ مِمَّا فَتَرَدْتُهُ إِلَيْهِ And I'm very happy, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, when someone yeah, try to get close to me with something that I make, him, make it wajib for, for human being, for, for Muslim, like salat, salatul, salatul fard, yeah, five times salah, fasting Ramadan, zakatul mal, uh, once a year, and then also every, anything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala order us to do, yeah, and someone do that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is very happy. وَمَا وَمَا يَزَالُ عَبْدِي يَتَقَرَّبُ إِلَيَّ بِالنَّوَافِلْ أَحَتَّى أُحِبَّهُ And if my slave, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, try to get even more close to me by doing something nawafil, something sunnah, something not compulsory, something not wajib, and I will more love him. I will more love that person. وَإِذَا أَحْبَبْتُهُ كُنْتُ سَمْعَهُ الَّذِي يَسْمَعُ بِهِ And if I love that person, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, I will be his here, that he will hear with. And I will be his hand that he will touch something with. And I will be his uh, feet that he will walk with. That, that doesn't mean Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala come inside our body. That means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect our ear. Allah will protect our hands. Our, Allah will protect our feet that, that we're not gonna do something mistake in the future. That's the connection. Uh, that's the connection from the ibadah and something that someone can feel yeah, something that that some someone can feel okay our feet, uh, what we call that knowledge and activities it becomes a protective zone for us of course allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in quran hal yastawi alladhina ya'lamuna wal ladhina la ya'lamun if it's the same someone knows and someone doesn't know does it, it, it it's it's not it's not same allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said Whoever knows, he will be safe. Whoever doesn't know, he will be do the mistake. So that's why we try to learn fiqh here, based on this book. Yeah, and inshallah, yeah, this book will tell us what Allah Subhanahu wa Taala order, and this book will tell us what Allah Subhanahu wa Taala prohibit. Yeah. Because in salah, for example, yeah, we don't talk about something huge. We talk in beginning like salah or taharah, for example. Taharah is very important. Yeah, like I said, salah won't be accepted without tahara. Salah won't be accepted without taha, tahara. Inside tahara itself, yeah, there is a lot of mistake. For example, someone do. And someone might be, they don't know how to perform taha, tahara. They don't know how to perform wu, wudu. Yeah? Prophet Wasallam said in, in hadith, وَيْنٌ لِلْأَقَابِ مِنَ nar. Yeah? Someone who left. Yeah? Al-Aqab is like uh, eggs of a bird, yeah? like this big. When someone leaves this part of his feet, for example, and he didn't wash it with the water, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warned him with hellfire. 
That means someone might be fell in the mistake when he do tahar when he perform taha tahara. Yeah. So by learning ilmu fiqh, yeah, details, yeah, even we start very very beginning, very very yeah, in very very beginning, we will try to know what Allah subhanahu wa taala yeah, order us, what Allah subhanahu wa taala yeah, prohibit us yeah, in our iba ibadah. So by this ilm, insha'Allah we will be safe and then we will get love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I'm, one more time, yeah, I'm not trying to uh, tell this book as uh, uh, against uh, the other madhab, for example, or the Shafi'i, and this is the, the, the correct one, and Hanafi it's uh, the wrong one, or Maliki the correct one, and then Hanbali is the wrong one. So like I said, yeah, in every single thing, Inside ilmu fiqh as long the madhab or as long the person has a dalil, feel free to do that. Yeah, this is a huge door, huge things that oh, even Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he performed salah, he did that in so many ways. One time Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam raised his hand, and the other time he didn't raise his hand. Some uh, sometimes Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in his ruku read subhanahu bil azim wa bihamdi. And the other time he he re, he recite Subhan Qudus and Rabul Malaikati Warruh. That means it, there is any difference in Hadith. Uh, sorry, there is any difference in in Fiqh. Yeah. So what we have to do with this difference, we need to know. If anyone has a dalil, feel free to do. There is no superiority or Shafi'i is the right, Hanbal is the right. Everyone has if he has a dalil, feel free to to do. But this book is very good. Like I said. It has a curriculum, like let's say it's it's teach us step by step from very beginning from tahara, yeah. Even if we see, inshallah, next week, from the kitab tahara, very first thing that we will talk is about water. Imagine, very first thing that we will talk is about the water. Why we talk about water? Just to clean ourselves before we do prayer. Mashallah, good question, good answer. Why we talk about water? It's for drink? Yeah. To make our body fresh? No. Because water is the most yeah, basic things that someone use for tahara. When someone perform wudu, he use water. Is that not? We, he use water. When he yeah, take shower, ghusl janabah, yeah, he use water. When he try to clean a najis, <coughs> Or something dirty in his uh, carpet, or in his bed, or in his clothes, for example, he gonna use what water. So that's why we will talk about water in very beginning. The definition of water, what kinds of water that we can use for tahara. Before we start to know the kinds of tahara, there is a wudu, there is tayammum, there is uh, take shower mandi junub. Apa bahasa Inggris mandi junub? Huh? Yeah, that's besar. Apa uh, what we say in English, take shower junub, in the correct uh, word. Yeah, inshallah, brother understood, inshallah. Huh? <laughs> yeah, that's the things, yeah. Because, yeah, English is not my first language, yeah. And subhanallah, first time I came to Australia, like uh, four and a half years ago, no English at all. I just know yes, no, yes, no. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, it's, I'm struggling in the beginning, but alhamdulillah, yeah, start walking. And then the, I keep communicate with my wife uh, English sometimes in English sometimes with uh, Indonesian uh, with Bahasa but Alhamdulillah with the help of, from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala yeah and uh, the thing is Inshallah brother understand and, and the point is rich yeah because the point of this majlis the point is this lecture it's to make us understand yeah so whatever language we use Bahasa or maybe Urdu or maybe Indonesian or yeah, English, as long it reach brothers or sisters, and then uh, we all understood, understand. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, that's that's the point. So, any question? Yeah. So, if I, if there is like some grammarly mistake from me, or I said something wrong, so yeah, please forgive me. Yeah, and if I need something, for example, uh, help with some. Mustalah, some words, yeah, what we say in English. Maybe I will ask some brothers here too to help me. So please, 
ya help me ya jazakumullah khairan katsiran ya and then i sit here not be, not because i'm the the have i have most knowledge here or, or I, i i'm as a a teacher we all study together ya we all study together ya we all learn ya in marhalah learning we all still in level of studying ya i'm not sheikh like oh i can give a fatwa this is correct or this is not correct no we all still learning together and inshallah yeah, by these things our niyyah yeah to know yeah the truth uh, to uh, stop our mistake and then to uh, change our ibadah before we don't know we don't know if this haram and then we stop it and then we do the right things allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will guide us and then will give us tawfiq yeah inshallah inshallah any question brothers Yeah, so I think that's uh, as a muqaddimah inshallah next next week uh, we will start uh, uh, this book yeah and if any brothers or sister wants to have uh, the book yeah maybe I can send the the PDF uh, to uh, brother Diki and brother Diki can maybe arrange uh, because why because when we learn and then we has a book we, and we have a book it's easier yeah, because this book yeah will teach us every single things yes from from very beginning until the end yeah and if we ha- if we have the book yeah even even the book is uh, with arabic yeah it, that's that should be right yeah because uh, every single word inside the books i will explain word by word yeah and then brother can make a note yeah, can make uh, explanation and then whatever you want to write down Uh, inside the book yeah and inshallah it's it help us to understand more and more yeah inshallah maybe any questions Yeah, that's why. Now like, this is very good question. Yeah, some people, yeah, maybe they don't know. That's the way. One of the way of tahara we can do what it call istijmar. Istinja, it's performing tahara with water. Yeah, like istinja un ends by hamzah. If you want to understand ma mana uh, what istinja means, istinja un ma un ma un water. So istinja perform. Ya tahara with water. Istijmarun, istijmar ends by ra, it's hajarun. So perform tahara with stone. Someone wants to clean his yeah, private uh, part of his body with when they can't find water for example inside the des- desert for example, inside the forest for example, there is no water, yeah. So they only find for example uh, stones or maybe uh, leaves, yeah. They can use that. And that's permissible. And even Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam performed that and teach the companions how to use stones and leaves and etc. to clean their self from from najis. Yeah. So this is very important. A good question, mashallah, zakallah her brother. Yeah. Some 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 people they don't know when they can't find water, they don't do anything. They can't clean themselves, and then they start praying. 
And what make us sad when they praying, we afraid that their prayer won't be accepted from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because they don't perform taha, tahara. Come back to what Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allah won't accept any salah without tahara, without wudu, without tayammum, without take shower, mandi, mandi junub, uh, take shower from you, from junub. Yeah, so, yeah. By learning, inshallah, and when we learn fiqh, we, we don't expect that we will learn it in a month or in two months. Eh? Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa teach his companions how many years? How many years? 23 years. And this is the level of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the best da'i, the best lecturer. If we see any lecturers in this world, for example, or... I like Mufti Meng, for example, or I like Bilal Phillips, or anybody. Yeah. Which one is better than Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the best lecturer. When someone sees his face, he fell in love. And he will follow whatever Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say. It's, yeah, that's Subhanallah. Yeah. And who have good yeah, intention to learn more than companions. Maybe some of us, inshallah, that's why we have to renew our niyyah. What, what makes us come to this place? We come to this place to learn. So we know, so we do. We learn, so we know, and then we can stop our mistake. So we can do something that we never do before. And companions has the best intention. When we learn from Prophet sallallahu alayhi, they have an ikhlas. The pure intention. And it takes 23 years for Prophet ﷺ to explain about ilmu fiqh. So inshallah, step by step, we learn one by one. Yeah? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will, yeah, will teach us. Yeah? And do we Rasulullah stop the Sahaba? Because Sahaba likes to follow him everywhere. Yeah, goes, right? that's, that's even helpful. We only meet up here less than one hour maybe. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, yeah, teach, teach his companions maybe 20 hours per day. And that's 7, 27, not 24, 7, maybe 27. Yeah. And it still takes 23 years to teach the companions. So we need to be patient. Yeah. We need to sober. Yeah. We need to be patient. And then whatever we learn and then we understand and we believe it and then we do it, that means we try to perform taqwa to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What taqwa Allah wa yu'allimukum Allah. Perform taqwa to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will teach you. Sometimes some people, yeah, when they try to learn and then they, it's hard to understand, I don't know how to perform wudu, it's really hard for me. Yeah? If Allah make it easy for him, even, even yeah, it's, he, can, he can understand in a simple, in a simple way. Yeah, inshallah. What time is Isha? 8.40. Yes. That's the Adhan or Iqamah? Uh, Iqamah. Okay. So yeah, feel free to ask. Yeah. We have all night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Inshallah. So yeah, that's, that's good. That's good uh, things. Yeah, Inshallah, brother, will, uh, I will share the book. Uh, then Alhamdulillah, Mr. Riki ha already have, ha have the book. Yeah, and then maybe we can send to uh, anyone here the PDF. Can you buy the book? Uh, I don't think. Uh, I mean, like the book, like the actual book. Oh, yes. I, I we uh, we we can order it from Middle East. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think. Uh, yeah, I I I I I, I couldn't find uh, any English translation with uh, for this book. Yeah, because this book is. Uh, uh, not as a popular like Riyadh Salihin or maybe Minhajul Talibin, like uh, uh, any books from Imam Nawawi. But the thing is, the books of Imam Nawawi, it's not for beginner. It's for someone maybe uh, already learned the basic of fiqh and then he want to jump to the second level, if learn more details, every single things, every single part, yeah, with the dalil, with the with the explanation that's why that's that's how they they jump to to the kitab al-imam and nawawi but now and we are here we try to uh, learn the fiqh from very basic 
yeah, from very beginning, yeah, and then we we don't want to talk more details. This is this is the 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 ikhtilaf, and then this is the, the difference of the opinions. We read, yeah, what inside the books, yeah, inshallah, kul khair, and everything inside the book is it's very good, yeah, and uh, yeah, this is uh, good for the beginner, inshallah. Yeah. If Pak Chief wants the book uh, with the Arabic, uh, Arabic, yeah, you can order it online maybe from uh, any uh, store in Middle East, or maybe you can ask uh, some student in Medina, yeah, or maybe we can ask some 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 uh, mashaykh here. Maybe they have the book, yeah, because yeah, because this book. Uh, uh, even it's very popular, but uh, it's very rare. I mean, like uh, usually people who has this book, who has this book, is the people who uh, has a Sharia background. Like they, they they have learned in Sharia faculty, so that's why they it's compulsory to have this book. Yeah, it's like someone learn Hadith, yeah, study Hadith, and then they they don't have Kutub Sittah, the sixth book, Bukhari, Muslim, Nasai, Ibn Majah, Abu Dawud, Tirmidhi. I mean, like. You learn hadith, like you want to be pro, yeah, be professional in hadith, but you don't have this book. It's very uh, confusing, yeah. So yeah, I, I, I don't even have this book, yeah. I have the the matan, yeah, but it I left it in in Indonesia, and I don't have it here, so that's why I also use the PDF version, yeah. Type Matan, yeah. as the name of the book, yeah. Matan Al Goya Wat Takrib, yeah. Okay, now uh, I can I can explain uh, about this book, yeah, and then even the writer, yeah, Sheikh here, explain to us why they why he create why he write this book. I will teach. Uh, I will I will I will I will uh, read. قال القاضي أبو شجاع أحمد بن الحسين بن أحمد الله سبحانه رحمه الله تعالى. so the writer of this book name his name is Abu Shuja. yeah Abu Shuja is Kunya. Kunya means someone called by Abu or Ummu. for example my name is Muhammad and I have a kid a boy his name is Ahmad for example. so my Kunya is Abu Ahmad because I'm the father of Ahmad. Or yeah, or if there any lady, yeah, his name, uh, her name is Maryam, for example, and she has a, a boy, her, her, his name is Ahmad. So her name, her kunya is Ummu Ahmad. Yeah. So Sheikh here, his name, uh, his kunya Abu Suja, and his name Ahmad ibn Al Hussein. So Ahmad bin Hussein bin Ahmad. Yeah. This is what happened with Arab culture, Arab, yeah, Arab people. They name their children with their father name. So mostly in one family, yeah, even in my family, there is a lot of Muhammad and Hussein because my grandfather, uh, his name is Hussein. So there is, I have a lot of cousin named Hussein as my grandfather. So this is what our people used to do. They name their son yeah, as their father, their father name. So what is Bin and Bin T? So bin ibn it means son of, yeah, bin yeah to bin tun binti is daughter of. So Muhammad ibn Ali means Muhammad son of Ali. Fatima binti Muhammad that means Fatima daughter of Muhammad. Muhammad. Al Asfahani yes is from Asfahan. Asfahan is the place in between Afghanistan, Pakistan. Yeah, it's 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 uh. It's somewhere there. Yeah. What about Ibni? Ibni. Ibni means my son. Oh, my son. Yeah. So if someone and we also have a uh, Arabic class every Saturday morning here. And Alhamdulillah, some brothers. Yeah, they are very istiqamah, mashaAllah. Yeah. Uh, every Saturday morning in this in this mosque, we have an Arabic class. Yeah. So if anyone wants to join, feel free contact Mr. Diki, yeah, brother Diki. Uh, okay, Al Asfahani, yeah, is the place in somewhere between Afghanistan, you know, like uh, uh, Pakistan. Rahimullah Taala, Salani Baadul Asdiqa. 
some of my friends yeah, ask me, and this is the benefit for us to have a good friends. Because when we have a good friends, they will ask the good things. They won't ask for the bad things. Oh, can you hit the gate? And can you cut the tree in the middle of the street? That's all not good. But the good friends will ask about the good things. سألني بعض الأصدقاء حفظهم الله تعالى أن أعمل مختصرا في الفقه. Some of my friends ask me to create or to write. It's very simple book of fiqh because there are like very huge book of fiqh yeah? talk about very details about everything with the dalil from maybe one like one uh, like that do, do, that book has a uh, 10 jilid up a jilid Ch chapter yeah maybe 20 maybe 40 maybe 50 huge book but his friends ask him to write a very simple book. Ala madhabil imam shafi'i rahmatullahi alayhi wa ridwanuhu fi ghayat ikhtisar wa nihayat al-ijaz. And the book is based on the madhab of, of imam shafi'i yeah, rahmatullah fi ghayat al-ikhtisar. And they want it very, very simple, very, very short. Yeah. So that's why when we start yeah, learning this book, inshallah, next week. Yeah, Sheikh try to make this book with this short word but a lot of meanings. Yeah. That's like Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. One of his character, Allah give Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam jawamiul kalim. Who knows what ma ma'na what jawamiul kalim means? That's one of the characteristic, and speciality of Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that. No one of the Prophet has been given that from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jawami'ul kalim. That's the speciality of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ma ma'ana jawami'ul kalim? Jawami'ul kalim, that means Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam talk less. His word is very simple, very short. One, two, three words. But the meaning is huge. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Ad-dinu nasihah. This religion is nasihah. That's it. Short or long? That's very short. But the meanings, if you want to explain about Ad-Dinu Nasihah, this religion is Nasihah, maybe it, it will reach like 500 pages or 1,000 pages. So this book, yeah, his friends ask him to, uh, to be in very, very short words. وَنِهَيَةُ الْإِجَاسِ يَقْرُبُ عَلَى الْمُتَعَلِّمْ دَرْسُهُ وَيَسْهُلُ عَلَى الْمُبْتَدِي حِفْظُهُ so anyone even can memorize this book. So what student, when they go to Ma'had, to the uh, boarding school, for example, sometimes they memorize the matan. So when they memorize one matan, like matan is, matan, it's uh, the authentic things, authentic words from the book. So when we talk about matan al ghayh wa taqrib, that means the words that the sheikh write in his book. And if someone memorized this matan, or, or someone memorized this book, in his head, all the fiqh things already is in his head. Include everything, tahara, salat, siyam, zakat, hajj, yeah? and then uh, business, trading, and then nikah, yeah, kitabun nikah, yeah. So everything is in his, his head. So why some scholars create or write their book with very simple word so student can memorize it? When someone memorizes it, it's easy. Yeah. Al miyah arbaatu aqsam. So water is four kinds of water. Or in some some books, al miyah sabaatu aqsam. Water is seven kinds. This kind, of, uh, this kind of water, this kind of water, this kind of water. Everything explained in this book. Yeah. So this is the way of the writer. Yeah. Make his book. He create the book with the very simple, simple word. Wa an uktirafihi min taksimat wa min hasr al khisal fa ajabtu ila dalika taliban li thawab. Yeah. And then when my friend asked me, he said, I accept. I accept there. 
question. Uh, they, I accept their invitation. Yeah? I, uh, I uh, accept their what they want. I give what they want. Yeah, Taliban li thawab. But still, I do write the book not because of them. Yeah? But Taliban li thawab. I hope the rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah. That has to be very first thing of Mu'min or every single mu'min, yeah, anything that we do in this dunya, very first intention it's we hope rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah. It doesn't matter if and if also we want to do that to make, for example, your wife happy or to make your parents happy, that's that's okay. Yeah. But makes the first things, the first inten- intention, yeah. First niat. First niat, yeah, because we want the reward from Allah subhanahu Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Raghiban illallah ta'ala fit tawfiq li sawab And also I hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yeah, Will grant us a tawfiq yeah? Because That's what I said More we learn More Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us ilm. More Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Will easy yeah, Will make the way of study this religion easier for us what Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in hadith? Yeah. Man salaka talibun, man salaka tariqan, yal tamisu fihi ilma, sahalallahu lahu bihi tariqan ilal jannah. Whoever, yeah, choose a way to learn religion. And this is our way to learn religion, by coming into, the, into the mas, this, this, masjid, this masjid, yeah, sit down here, and then listen to the, the lecture. This is our way to learn about this religion. What we will get, insha'Allah, sahalallahu lahu bihi tariqan ilal jannah. Allah will make our way to jannah easy. Allah will make our jannah yeah, easy. And not only that, Allah will give us another ilm. Allah will make us easier yeah, to understand and then to learn more. More we learn, more we learn. More, more, more we learn, more, more, we, more we know. Yeah? So, إِنَّهُ عَلَى مَا يَشَاءُ قَدِيرُ وَبِعِبَادِهِ لَطِيفٌ خَبِيرٌ That's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, yeah, do whatever He wants, yeah, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can do anything, yeah. There's nothing impossible to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَبِعِبَادِهِ لَطِيفٌ خَبِيرٌ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yeah, is very mercy to, to His creation, to His slaves, to Al-Mu'mineen, yeah. So that's the muqaddimah from the writer, yeah. I, I, I write it down, yeah, so I read it. This is statement from the writer, yeah, that's the niyyah. Uh, he write this book, it's because he want the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But the way, yeah, the way, yeah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, ja'ala li kulli say'in sababa. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Quran, Allah makes everything with the reason, with the, with something, yeah, reason. Yeah. Sababa, there is a, a sabab reason, eh? yeah, with the reason, for example, yeah. Someone has a child. How he get a child? Because he get me, he get married. Someone get money. How he get money? Because he working. Yeah. Someone has a, you know, like strong body. Yeah. How he get strong body? Because he exercise, work hard, and everything. So likulu So this, the the reason of this book, yeah, Allah subhanahu wa taala want this book to be beneficial to everyone who read this book. It's because the Question from his friends. So choose a good friends because good friends will always ask or give us something good. Yeah? And bad friends, yeah, we afraid. Yeah, we afraid that they will like drag us to yeah something something bad as well. Yeah. So yeah. This, this writer, which uh, period he lived? Which year? Sorry. This where? Which uh, century did he, he, he live? Oh, this uh, like a uh, uh, fifth, fifth or sixth century. Oh, his name is uh, Muhammad. Uh, Ahmad, yeah. Ahmad ibn Hussein ibn Ahmad al Asfahani. Yeah. Ahmad, Ahmad bin Hussein bin Ahmad al Asfahani, and his kunya it's Abu Suja. Yeah. Some, 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 some students, yeah, uh, they know this book as the Matan Abu Suja. Yeah. But the actual, actual uh, title. Of this book is Matan al Goya wa Taqrib. Goya means uh, goal, 
At-taqrib ya means uh, taqrib make something closer. So the point of this book is make whoever read this book to be closer to Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala and get their goals, what the goals to perform ibadah in the correct way to Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah. Because Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala yeah, reveal the sharia and Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala want us to do and fulfill and act the sharia as what he wants. Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala tell us to do to perform salatul dhuhr for rak'ah. Uh, so if someone do in six rak'ah for example, that's against what Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to us, yeah. So inshallah, yeah, inshallah I don't want to talk like uh, any longer. Inshallah next week we will start yeah and I hope brother can join us again inshallah yeah and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us taufik and hidayah and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive uh, all our mistakes and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put us in jannah with uh, prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his companions and may, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, grant us ilm and nafi' the benefit of ilm and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, guide us into uh, the straight way sirat al-mustaqim i close the majlis subhanakallahu bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh